we are going to draw the signal flow graph for a system whose equations or linear equations are given to us. So let's see the problem, what it is. So in the question, we are given three set of equations and using these three set of equations, we have to draw the signal flow graph for the system. So let us consider one, equa one by one each equation. For the first equation, which is x1, we have a11, A12, A13 and A, these are the constants and we have the variables X1, X2, X3 and U. So U is the input, so we will get here, this is the input U and U it is given to, let's suppose this is X1 and u it is multiplied with a so we will write the transmittance over here that is a now this x1 it is multiplied with a11 that is it is a self feedback loop and having the transmittance a11 now we have x2 okay so x2 is also uh, given to this x1 and it is acting as a summing point so we will have this as x2 and x2 is multiplied with a12 so we will have here a12 x3 is also a variable so it is also a node and this is multiplied with a13 so we will write this transmittance over here and this is the variable or the node for the variable x3 so we have drawn the signal flow graph for the first equation. Now consider the second equation we will have. Second equation is x12 sorry x2 equals to b11 x1 plus b12 x2 plus b13 x3. So this is our second equation. Now in this second equation x2 is a node, x2, x1 and x3 there are three nodes. This is x2, this is x1 and we have this as x3. Now x1 it is multiplied with b11 so we will have b11 written here and then x2 it is multiplied with B12 that is it is a self feedback loop again we have and this is B12 that is the gain or transmittance written over the arrow. Now B13 multiplied with X3 so it is also an input here and this is B13. So we have drawn the signal flow graph for the second equation. Now the third equation is X3 equals to c11 x1 plus c12 x2 plus c13 x3 now here we have also these three nodes x1 x2 and x3 so this is x1 this is x2 and this is x3 x1 x2 and x3 x1 it is multiplied with c11 so we will give this here and we will have 
the transmittance or gain written over the arrow. X2 it is multiplied with C12. So we will have this as C12. X3 it is multiplied with C13. So it is a self feedback loop. So we will have this as X3 given to itself and multiplied with C13. So we have drawn the signal flow graph for each of these equations. Now we are going to combine all these three signal flow graphs so as to obtain the complete signal flow graph for the system. So let's combine these three signal flow graphs first, second and third. So we will get the complete signal flow graph as This is our input node U, this is X1, this is X2 and X3, okay. X1 we were having for the first, in the first equation we have seen that X1 we have this. So we will draw here A and this is the self feedback loop A11 and from X2 we are having a loop that which is this and having the gain as a12 and from x3 also we are having this a13 so we have drawn our first signal flow graph now we will draw the second signal flow graph combine it with it so we have from x1 to x2 we were having b11 so this is x1 this is x2 so we have this as b11 then we have the self feedback loop as B12. We can also in place of this we will can also write B11 here. We can remove this. Cut it. Let us mark it with red. Instead of marking this we can have here also. Now from X2 to X3 we were having B13. So we will write here B13. Okay, now the third signal flow graph is this. So from X1, we are going to connect this X3. And this is C11. From X2 to X3, we were having C12. And X3, we are having a feedback loop, self feedback loop as C13. And this is our output. So this is the complete signal flow graph of the system. We have drawn the signal flow graph for each of the equation and then we have combined all the three signal flow graphs so as to obtain the signal flow graph for the complete system. I hope you have understood the problem clearly. Thank you.